guys. Welcome back. I am Jesse, and I hope you guys are all doing super well out there. So Burple is two control panels deep into a three control panel lineup. And I thought I would make a quick video giving you guys a little tour of these two button boxes. Boom. This is Burple's button box numero uno. It consists of 12 RGB momentary buttons, six momentary toggle switches, two latched toggle switches, two flip cover toggle switches, three encoder dials with push, and two axis dials. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm just kidding. There's another one. By the way, on this one, I have taken the feet off of it so that it is more streamlined for mounting on a desk mount or a chair mount, something like that. The way you see here, the ports are on the top, but if you'd prefer the ports to be on the bottom for cable management, you can easily just unscrew the casing, flip it around and screw it back in and the ports will be on the other side. The RGB buttons have clear caps on them that you can pop off and you can throw in there anything that you like, whether it be one of the stickers that are included in the control panels box or something that you've made yourself, cut it out, slap it in there and put the clear cap on top of it. And now you have a custom RGB button for yourself. They're very clicky, very satisfying to press. They're good buttons. There are six toggle switches. There are two latched toggles. These are plastic. It does give it a little more sci-fi vibe. I think I would have just preferred another metal switch if I had a choice. You've got two covered toggles, which will help you keep from accidentally ejecting or self-destructing or launching tactical nukes when you don't mean to. You have three encoder dials, which are a dial that scrolls infinitely in either direction and has a press button function to it as well. Finally, on control panel number one, you have two axis dials, which are a fixed range. You scroll left until it stops. You go back to center. There's a little detent there that lets you know you're in the center of the range, and then you can roll it to the right until it stops, and then back to center. It doesn't roll infinitely like the encoder dials. These dials I find most useful for functions that you want to center regularly. A good example on an airplane would be your trim. You want to be able to move the trim back and forth through its range, but very often you want to be able to zero it out so you know exactly where you're at. Boom. Button box number two, including the feet, which are very easy to pull off right here. Just a couple screws attaching each side if you do want to desk mount these. And these feet work super good to keep this thing in place. It consists of 10 RGB momentary buttons, six momentary toggle switches, two latch toggles, two covered toggles, three encoder dials with push, and a multi-position landing gear lever that also has status lights right next to it. The gear lever has all metal internals with three different positions separated by detents, which can be bypassed by pulling up on the spring-loaded lever and moving it over those detents. One thing to keep in mind as you are adding more and more buttons to your sim pit, all games have a limit to the number of button bindings that it will recognize natively. On the high end, it's 128, which sounds like a lot, but if you have bound all the functions on your stick and throttle and are in the market for a button box like the control panels, then you are already very close to the 128 functions. In fact, depending on how many buttons are on your throttle, you could already have exceeded it. There are ways to get around that limitation though using third-party software like Joystick Gremlin and VJoy. Just be aware that it is not going to be super plug and play if you already have a HOTAS and you are now adding a button box like the control panels from Verpal to your sim pit, you're gonna have to do a little bit of extra work to get your game to recognize all of those buttons. There are a lot of good reasons to add a verbal control panel to your sim pit. Whether you've run out of buttons on your HOTAS or wanna speed up your flow in more realistic flight simulators, are tired of peeking under your VR goggles to find that key on the keyboard, or you just really want a more immersive, deep experience on any of the games that you're flying in a cockpit. These button boxes will help you accomplish all of those things. They are not cheap and they do require a little bit of extra work to get all of the extra buttons that they provide, but they're very polished, very easy to mount, and well suited to both space and flight sim 
flying. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. There is another button box, control panel number three, due from Verpal anytime now. Keep an eye out for that video and many more coming at you very soon. Like and subscribe if you're into that kind of thing. We'll see you next time. Peace.